Hi, I'm Muju, a solution architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can enable and authenticate Amazon Connect users through AWS managed Microsoft AD. On the agenda today, I will walk you through the various use cases for AWS managed Microsoft AD. Next, I will demonstrate how you can enable and authenticate Amazon Connect users through AWS Manage Microsoft AD. And last, I will leave you with some reference documentation to get started. With AWS Manage Microsoft AD, you can share a single directory for multiple use cases. When you enable AWS application or service in your directory, users can access the application or service with their Active Directory credentials. Next, using familiar AD administration tools, you can apply AD group policy objects to centrally manage your Amazon EC2 for Windows or Linux instances by joining your instances to your AWS Managed Microsoft AD domain. In addition, users can sign in to EC2 instances with their AD credentials. This eliminates the need to use individual instance credentials or distribute private key or PEM files. AWS Managed Microsoft AD is an actual Microsoft AD that enables you to run AD-aware workloads such as Remote Desktop Licensing Manager, Microsoft SharePoint, and Microsoft SQL Server always on in the AWS Cloud. AWS Managed Microsoft AD also helps you to simplify and improve security posture of AD-integrated .NET applications by using Group Managed Service Accounts and Kerberos constrained delegation. Last, enterprise applications like SAP and Oracle can also benefit with external authentication of database users using Kerberos and AWS Managed Microsoft Active Directory. You can use AWS Managed Microsoft AD to provide SSO for cloud applications. You can use Azure AD Connect to synchronize your users into Azure AD then use Active Directory Federation services so that your users can access Microsoft Office 365 and other SAML 2.0 cloud applications by using their Active Directory credentials. If you already have an AD infrastructure and want to use it when migrating AD-aware workloads to the cloud, AWS Managed Microsoft AD can help. You can use AD Trust to connect AWS Managed Microsoft AD to your existing Active Directory. This means your users can access AD-aware and AWS applications with their on-premises AD credentials without needing you to synchronize users, groups, or passwords. Last, you can share your Active Directory to seamlessly join Amazon EC2 instances to a domain across multiple AWS accounts in an AWS organization. Before I head over to the AWS Management Console for demo, I would like to do a quick recap of Active Directory deployment options on AWS. Depending upon the use case and the type of trust needed, customers can choose from three different Active Directory deployment models on AWS. Customers can choose to run a self-managed AD hosted in a data center or on Amazon EC2. Then create a trust with AWS Managed Microsoft AD and use the same Active Directory to enable and authenticate Amazon Connect users. Or customers can use AD Connector, which is a directory gateway with which you can redirect directory requests to your on-premises Microsoft AD without caching any information in the cloud. In this demo, we will go with option three, where customers can also choose to run a standalone Active Directory with AWS Manage Microsoft AD. Let's get into the demo. The first step in the process here is to create a standalone AWS Managed Microsoft Active Directory. For this, I'm inside the AWS Management Console. I've gone to Directory Service, Service, and within Directories, I've selected the option to set up a directory. So when you go to that screen, the first option or the list of options that you see here, from the list of options, the first option you see here is AWS Managed Microsoft AD. I selected that, I'll click on Next, this is where I'll select the standard edition as the directory type that I want to create. Um, and then from there, I'll go ahead and start entering the remaining information. 
I'll pause the screen here and I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of the information as in select the VPC, the subnets, um, review and create. And once the directory is ready, we'll come back and resume the demo. Okay, my directory is now ready. It's a Microsoft Active Directory standard edition. And from here on, I'll go ahead and show you how you can use this directory as a source of truth for your Amazon Connect user authentication process. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Amazon Connect console. I am inside the Amazon Connect AWS Management console. And as you can see on the screen, I do not have any instances created. So I'll go ahead and click on Create Instance. On the first screen, I'll be prompted with the option to select an identity management for my Amazon Connect users. I can store users in Amazon Connect. I can use a SAML 2.0 based authentication, or I can link to an existing directory, which is what we will do in order to use the active directory that we created in previous step. So I'll choose that directory, corp.example.com. I'll click on next, and this is where I'll start entering the rest of the information. I'll go ahead and complete the instance creation process. And that's where I'll resume the demo once again. As you can see on your screen, our Amazon Connect instance has been created and it also has an access URL. So we're going to use the access URL to try to log in to our Amazon Connect instance or Amazon Connect portal using Maria Garcia's credentials, who is one of the active users inside our standalone Active Directory. We are now on the Amazon Connect login portal and I provided Maria Garcia's credentials, the username and password. I'll click on sign in. And this takes me successfully to the Amazon Connect agent portal dashboard. From here on, Maria can perform a number of tasks within the Amazon Connect portal. At the same time, if you go to the user management section on the left-hand side of your screen, you will see that in addition to Maria, I also have the option to import the other users that are currently existing inside my Active Directory, which is Arnab Desai and John Doe. I enable the integration between the standalone AWS Managed Microsoft Active Directory and our Amazon Connect instance only once, but still I'm able to pull in all of the users that are available inside my Active Directory, Arnab Desai, John Doe, and Maria Garcia. This completes the demo. Let's summarize what we learned from this demo. First, I created a standalone Active Directory inside AWS Managed Microsoft AD. Next, I created an Amazon Connect instance and during the instance creation process, I selected the AD from previous step as the source of truth for Amazon Connect user login. Last, I was able to sign in to Amazon Connect portal using AD credentials. Now that you have seen how easy it is to enable Active Directory for Amazon Connect user login, if you would like to explore further, please pause the video at this point and scan the QR code displayed on your screen. Thank you.